Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the next government, I stand before you today to address a matter of utmost urgency and importance. For far too long, disabled individuals in our society have been subjected to the harsh consequences of austerity measures that disproportionately affect their access to essential social care. Since the coalition between the Liberal Democrats and the Conservative Party under Nick Clegg and David Cameron, disabled people have been burdened with the unjust requirement to pay towards their care. This has resulted in monthly bills exceeding 400 for some individuals, placing an unbearable financial strain on those who are already facing significant challenges due to their disabilities. We must acknowledge that access to social care is a fundamental right, not a luxury, and it should be provided without imposing an undue financial burden on the most vulnerable members of our society. By removing the requirement for disabled people to pay towards their care, we can begin to restore dignity and respect to those who have been marginalized for far too long. The United Nations has declared that the 2016 austerity agenda under David Cameron was a breach of human rights for disabled people. Our duty as a society is to rectify this injustice and create a more inclusive and compassionate environment for all. We must prioritize the well-being and quality of life of disabled individuals, ensuring that they have the support and resources they need to thrive. By removing the financial burden of paying for their care, we can empower disabled people to live their lives with dignity and independence. As we look to the future, let us commit ourselves to building a society that values and supports every individual, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. Let us work together to create a brighter, more equitable future for all. I implore you, esteemed members of the next government, to take immediate action to remove the austerity on disabled people having to pay towards their care. The time for change is now. Let us stand together and demonstrate our commitment to building a truly inclusive and compassionate society. Thank you for your attention and I urge you to act swiftly and decisively to address this pressing issue.